Hi everyone, I just completed week 26 here at Lambda School. This week was about Labs 1, which is the first week of our five-week project uh, that we're building out this full-stack application. So first, the app that we're building is called Refresher. It's basically a, a space repetition learning tool for students and a teacher would be the one to set it up, but it would send out refreshers uh, two days after, two weeks after, and two months after the initial class or whenever the material was taught. And the format would be an introductory paragraph and then a question about that topic. So in a way, it's kind of letting you refresh your, your knowledge about the material. It's not a test, it's not a quiz, it's just basically a learning tool, but it's, it's spaced out. So that's the premise of our project, and I am working with four other developers, uh, full stack developers. They've gone through the front end and the back end uh, curriculum here at Lambda, and they haven't gone through computer science yet, which is cool. Um, uh, all their knowledge is fresh, so it's very helpful to for me to come back to it and to have people um, know something about it. Um, it's been a while since I've been doing uh, computer science for <laughs> so long. And basically the first week, uh, the general flow is that you would have a stand up with your team, including your, um, I don't want to say project manager, but like a team leader. They don't really commit code, they just kind of help us, push us along. Kind of like when we had a PM uh, during all the previous weeks in Lambda. At the core, it's still five people writing code, pushing code, but that sixth person is uh, a PM and they just kind of help push us along, give us advice, etc. So stand up in the morning and then we would sometimes have a meeting here and there about different uh, topics like how, how to like a kickoff or something about the project itself that's you need to know. And generally throughout the day we work uh, about, I want to say four or five hours or so. And you can sit in a hangout with your teammates and just talk um, about the code and help each other um, set up the application. And then at the end of the day, we, we it's not necessarily that you have a another stand-up, but our group does because it's a good way to wrap up the day and to let everyone know where they are so everyone can be on the same page. So, and then for our sprint challenge, the only thing that's different is that we're actually just writing a journal and about uh, some questions that they have already set for us, like different challenges that we've faced, different... Um, things that we've committed during the week and make pull requests, that sort of thing. So the flow is the same for the most part. It's just basically five weeks of building out the project and there's a fine line between uh, work and life balance. So they do um, recommend that, which I do appreciate. Um, you're more efficient, you're more well rested, you don't make as many mistakes and you learn a little bit better, If at least for me. Um, I, don't per uh, I don't particularly uh, uh, like to work like 14, 12, 14 hour days. It's just too much. The, the mind can only handle so much, you know. Um, if, but if you can do that, more power to you. And so for the project, I would say that uh, the, the best thing is before you get started with the, the group is to work on your GitHub flow and to know what's going on. To, I, there are those two courses that I recommended from Udacity. I'll post them again underneath this video. Um, but if you watch those, I think you'll be pretty solid in terms of making commits and pull requests on GitHub. And also uh, just to work on your technologies. So if you, if you uh, it's been a while, it's front end or whatnot, go back and cover a little bit. And then if you'd like, just research some new technology that you'd like to use. So like for us, we we were going to use Material UI and we were going to use um, Postgres, which, is, which are two new things that we had to deal with. So, you know, just potentially, uh, you know, dig on the surface of different technologies and get an idea of like what you like to use. And 
I don't want to go too much further into this uh, video, but it's been a good week overall. My teammates and I have a good flow. We, uh, we don't have any problems uh, so far. And just uh, the, the hardest thing is probably communication and deciding how things are being set up. Everyone has an opinion and um, it's important that everyone gets to express them. So it's been a good week and I am looking forward to next week. We are going to build out uh, more of the app. Um, I should probably tell you what I did this week. <laughs> so I kind of built out the front end of this week uh, using Material UI. It's a little bit different of a syntax. It's not like style components um, completely, but there are parts of it. And I kind of built out just the, the wireframe and how things are set up. And then also kind of just doing a lot of administrative stuff too. Um, setting up like a uh, Google Docs so that we can have all the information in one, one place. I wrote a little bit of the README. I um, helped write up the technical design document too. Like I was composing that too. And just, uh, yeah, just pushing a lot of front end code. I haven't really dipped into the back end yet, but um, that's kind of what I did for the week. And Next week, I think I'll be hopping into backend as well. So that's why I'm going to brush up on Postgres. But that's going to do it for me here. I don't want to take too much longer. So I hope you had a great week. And thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you some. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, Labs is pretty cool. And uh, excited for you when you're able to get there as well. So have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next week.